a dying institution? Next, Dr. Laura. Meg Ryan, Nicolas Cage in the network premiere City of Angels, CBS Sunday. You, uh, wanted to talk to me about something? Yeah. Yeah, I just got word that closing arguments are due tomorrow for the Steinbeck case. Great. I'm there. Good. Wonder if Jake knows yet. I'm sure he'll find out soon enough. Yeah, well, the way he went after him in court, this is gonna be just the news he's waiting for. Yeah, the judge may not even let him back in court, given the way that he went after David. You know what? That would make an amazing story. Jealous journalist jumps fence and goes gunning for psycho shrink. What do you think, huh? Sorry, I, I thought we were supposed to bury the competition. Whose uh, competition are you talking about? The paper or yours? And what's that supposed to mean? That's really funny. Those were the exact same words that went through my mind when you kissed me tonight. Hmm. What's to explain? At an impulse, I went with it. Yeah, well, go with that impulse again. You'll find yourself looking for new employment. David. You're surprised to see me, aren't you? Did you really think you'd seen the last of me? Did you really think I could stay away? Well, what are you... What are you doing here? Just dropping by to see a few friends before I move on to greener pastures. You know, solitary really wasn't all that bad. It gave me time to think about my past, how to improve my future, minimize risk, maximize payoff. But what good is all that planning if you don't, don't get a chance to put it into practice? Hey, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. No. Don't run. Don't move. I don't want to have to hurt you, but desperate times and all. <laughs> you have lost what is left of your mind. You, you, you escape from jail, and then the first thing you do is you run straight to a cop's house? Where could be safer than the last place they'd look? <laughs> You can't stay here. I'm not staying. I'm leaving as soon as humanly possible, just as soon as you help me to end. Simon? Simon? Can't be gone. <laughs> oh, is there anything sexier than watching a man work up a sweat? Watching a guy just put his uh his his back into his work. Knowing everything but everything but what's right in front of him. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. What are you doing here? Well, right now, I'm just watching you. You look good. You know what I mean. What do you want? I'm hoping that you'll find it in your, your big, beautiful heart somewhere. To forgive me. I mean, I know what I mean. I mean, like, I see you at the station all the time, and you dirty up real nice. I'm not at the station anymore, you know. It's always good to do an honest day's work for a guy. It makes you, it makes you feel grounded. It makes you feel good. Honest? What do you know about honest? You'd be surprised. Hold on. Just save it for somebody you have in kind. You know, I, I really don't have anything to say to you, so why don't you just... That's all right. I got a lot to say to you. I got an earful for you. And what I'm about to say to you, I've never said to nobody before. I mean, I've said the words before, but I've never been... That is, never said it with such honesty. I'm sorry. I never intended to hurt anybody. 
Especially you or the kids, I swear. You know what, Rose? Intentions really don't count. They, they just don't matter right now. Not when my marriage is hanging by a thread. Yeah, I just, I just heard that. Which brings me to the second reason why I'm here. Buy one, get one half off. On anything? Yeah, buy a pair of mules, get loafers half price. Buy boots for your husband, get a pair for yourself half price. It's the buy one, buy get one half off get sale. Good on half. everything in the store. I've never seen this side of you before. Doesn't it feel good? Pay less. What's for lunch? Chicken and star soup? Grow up. There's a better tasting soup. Progresso chicken noodle. All white meat chicken and bigger vegetables. See the difference? This is better. Now if you could just eat without the bed. It's time to go to the better taste of Progresso. Hey, Gail, what do you think of your new Pledge Grab? The Pledge Grab it. Push it in and it's all ready to go. It grabs the dust and the hairs. I like this extension. The way it swivels, you get really underneath things and go right on the top. Isn't that neat? In the old days, you used to have the dust mops have to shake them outside and be flying all all over. This grabs and keeps it on the cloth. That's how easy it is to take off. Throw it away. That's it. I think this is a great breakthrough for cleaning. S.C. Johnson, a family company. It grabs the dust. It really does. I never thought I'd be out here again. With my stiff joints, sometimes just getting out of bed was a challenge. Then I discovered new Flexigen from the makers of Advil. It's not a painkiller, but a daily dietary supplement. It has both glucosamine and chondroitin. They work together over time to help rebuild and lubricate worn cartilage in my joints. Now my only challenge is making the shot. Flexigen. Look for it in your store next to Advil. Want a snack that won't hold you back? Ah! Try Restics. Two light, crispy wafers covered with peanut butter and pure milk chocolate. Restics. The snack that won't hold you back. I can't let a bladder control problem get in the way of my job. I tried Serenity. Serenity has a larger dry layer front to back. Liquid is quickly pulled in, helping prevent leaks. I feel protected. Protection, confidence, Serenity. Ladies and gentlemen, Vice President-designate Elaine Hansen. I'm not confirming a woman just because she's a woman. They created a scandal to destroy her. You were involved in sexual deviance. But some people can't be broken. I can't respond because it's just nobody's business. From DreamWorks. Why don't you deny it? It is simply beneath my dignity. This fall, all heroes are created equal. A woman will serve in the highest level of the executive. The Contender, rated R, starts Friday, October 13th. Tonight, the alliance is crumbling. Making a deal with Rich is like making a deal with the devil. Now the women are raising hell. Me and Kelly are taking them down. Survivor continues. CBS Tonight. Go back to Survivor Island with Sean for some Island Gossip tomorrow on The Early Show. Maybe nobody really knows anybody until they know what's in the person's heart, what they're thinking every minute of every single day. And I, I even hate to admit this, but maybe nobody meant to hurt anybody. And if I can wrap my brain around this one, it's going to be a cakewalk for you. What are you talking about? Well, see, Lily and me, we're, we're closer than anybody ever thought, anybody ever knew. And when it comes to family, family, maybe you should cut people a little slack. Oh, so you're going around telling everybody that you and Lily are family? That's a good one. That's, that's great. Well, it gets better. We're sisters. Oh. We're twins. I know. I know why it's sick. It's whacked. But it doesn't change the truth or the facts. You gotta ask Lucinda. Oh, <laughs> I will. You can count on that. I, I, I didn't come here to sell you anything, and I, I, except for, I have one, uh, I have one very, very important proposition for you. How did I know there was an agenda behind your heart about the policy? Everybody's behind this. Everybody is, is backing me up, including Lucinda and Iva. Backing you up on what? They want the assistant DA to drop the charges against me. And Lily said she doesn't want anything to do with it anymore. She said she's over. She said it's up to you. It's your decision. Excuse me. I I'm supposed to just forget about everything that you have done? Clean slate? I'm not talking about forgetting. I'm just talking about loosening your grip a little bit in the grudge department. It's not going to gain you any points with your wife. Trust me. I 
Like, listen to Sandy. I go to trial. I'm on television. The whole family's in trouble 24-7. You want me to feel guilty? I feel guilty. Trust me. I'm, I'm a good Catholic girl. I got guilt for everybody. You know, make up your mind. First you're telling me you're not to blame. Now you're telling me you feel guilty. For what? For a lot of things. But most of all, for lying to you. And your kids. We're gonna be honest here. Let's talk about let's talk about the real reason why your marriage to Lily is going sour. It's it's her crush she has on Simon. say wishes don't come true. But I can't get you off my mind. That makes two of us. What have you been, what have you been doing? Uh, at defending your honor. What? I'm kidding. Just kidding, actually, I was at defending my own. What is that? Is, is that oil? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I applied for a job as a, as a grease monkey. A mechanic? You're not supposed to take that term literally, you know. Yeah, well, actually, it's the way I feel right now, so don't get too close. Mechanic? Where? Uh, Part-time. It's a, a little garage out of town. Yeah, they gave me this, this, this challenge right off the bat. Start this car that looks as though I hadn't been running since the dawn of time. But, you know, I got that baby purring like a kitten. You've been crying, have you? What's wrong? I was afraid. You? Afraid of what? I was afraid that you'd left me. You thought I'd just leave town without saying goodbye to you? Come on, you know me better than that by now. Hey, hey what's all this? You're gonna get grease all over. You won't be able to wash out the stains forever. I don't care. Really, I'm not a very patient man, and you're not making this wait any easier for me. You didn't have to do that. I'll kiss you. Take the job. You know what they say about idle hands. Look, I've got to keep myself busy or else I'm going to get myself into all sorts of trouble. You know what I mean. I'm not going to live off your money. I didn't get the job for you. Well, then for who? For yourself? Just have something to prove to the people here? What is it? How about we start with an easier question? Tell me, Lily, what possessed you to come back here? I talked to Holden. I, I told him that I asked you to stay. You're afraid of me. You are, look at me. Oh. oh, please. Please. It's true. You're so afraid of what might happen between us that the only thing that you can think of to do is to boss me around. You know, you have got a gargantuan-sized ego for a kid who ought to pick on someone's oh, own kid. size. Oh, a kid? Is that what you think of Show me? Show me something different for a change. You know what, Emily? I can put up with a lot. Hostility, phony indifference, even out-and-out -out hatred. But I'm not gonna sit here and let you wrap my knuckles like some hey, phony listen, adolescent. It's what you deserve. It's what you deserve. Nobody deserves this, Emily, and I'm not taking it from you. So let me just save you any future confusion or professional soul-searching. I quit. Ugh. Chris! Chris, excuse me, we were not finished talking. You cannot, we were not finished talking. Oh, oh, you want to dance, Julia? Oh, just like old times, you and me? Huh? Hey, it's just you and me now. You can tell me. Did you miss me? Huh? Oh, you were heading for the kitchen, maybe. Looking for the steak knives, the cleaver. Well, I put all of those out of reach so you won't get yourself into trouble. Now let's get down to business. What do you want? 
I'll need some bolt cutters first. Where does Loverboy keep his tools? I don't know. I've never seen any bolt cutters, okay? Hey, hey, hey. Would you even know if you had seen them, Julia? How about a file? You know where there's a file? You know what one looks like? I don't know. You're scaring me. Don't do that. Don't you play the frightened lamb with me, because I know you better than that. So much better than Jack ever could. In your dreams. There's a bond between us, Julia, that nothing can break. You want to help me. I know you do. And you know what? You are really twisted. You think that everybody thinks just like you, and you're wrong. You're completely wrong. You're going to end up back in that cage right where you belong, and you are never going to escape. Uh, uh, see, and there's the real bond between us, Julia. You are every bit as twisted as I am beneath that pretty little facade. You are just like me. You do anything to get what you want, what you think you deserve. I'm nothing like you. Well, no, that's true. I'm smarter. Oh, and faster. No. And true, I don't have a gun. But I do have something every bit as deadly as a bullet in my pocket. Would you like to see? Now, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Now, how much is this picture worth to you, Julia? Women, by nature, they are safe. It's almost impossible to get an appointment with Dr. T. The Phillies are getting a little restless. It's even harder. You always that good? When it matters, I seem to be. To win his heart. Win his something. Richard Gere. I don't think I can face another day without seeing her. In a Robert Altman film. You're different than any woman I've ever known. I want you to run away with me. Dr. T and the Women. Rated R. Starts Friday, October 13th. If you feel the tingle, it's time to go. If you're dry, you'll be more comfortable. Know how it works? They work like magic. The training pants get wet. The flowers go away. Abracadabra, boom! Help your child learn to potty train with pull-ups training pants with magic flowers that fade when they get wet. So be consistent and stick with pull-ups. Great, they're still there. Give your big kid a reason to stay dry. I'm a big kid now. Come back here, I'm not done. You're hot. Excuse me? How about a V8 splash to cool you down? No, thanks. I know what you're thinking. Oh, V8, it must be rich and tomatoey. But in fact, V8 splash is refreshing and fruity. Mmm. It is fruity. See what happens when you make judgments based on outward appearance? <laughs> now, how about your phone number? No. I thought we learned a lesson here. Fruity V8 splash. A very different V8. Old English presents Love and Wood. Cynthia just married David. Her furniture is modern. His is traditional. Will they discover Old English offers superior protection for all their wood pieces? Will they get a minivan? Tune in next time for Love and Wood by Old English. Work and buddies are all about teamwork. Put them together and they come to life. Hey, let's go! New Work and Buddies from Matchbox. Good thing they're built to last. Introducing a great tasting way to break up your worst cold symptoms. New Alka-Seltzer Plus Orange Zest and Cherry Burst. Powerful cold medicine with incredible fruit taste. Alka-Seltzer Plus. Two great new ways to break up your cold. Beautiful hair color. It's wrapped around my little finger. Excellence cream from L'Oreal. Wraps my hair in rich protective cream. No drips. So protective. I can color as often as I want. And grays. What grays? Excellence cream from L'Oreal. I'm worth it. Let me tell you something, Rose. I'm not to ask for a favor. You don't insult a man's wife and then expect him to bend over backwards to help you out. So, no, you can forget it. I'm gonna let you sweat it out a little bit, all right? Think about everything that you've done. Think about what you've cost us. Hey, what about what Lily cost me, huh? I had a great job in Atlantic City. I had friends. Until Lily comes around and everything just goes kaplooey. You want to blame, blame Lily for her sense of adventure and blame yourself for the problems in your marriage. Don't turn things around on me. I'm just as much of a victim here as anybody else. Oh, yeah, it was a real hardship for you, wasn't it? Living in Lily's house, wearing her clothes, her jewelry. Uh, you want to get it? You know what? Let me, let me give you an idea. A little piece of how it was living in your little Shangri-La. Just a sample, okay? I had to use brain cells in my head. I didn't even know that I had. I gotta remember names, dates, times, places, people that... People that I, I didn't even know. And then the vultures, the vultures started circling around me, looking for a piece of the action. Like who? Where do I start? Celia, Lucinda, Katie Peretti. 
I'm dodging bullets, then I'm dodging Lucinda, then I'm dodging questions that I don't have the answers to. It was like that, that, that this nightmare that I, I always had. It was a recurring dream that I had. I would go to an audition, a dance audition. I wouldn't remember the routine. Then I'm standing up on stage naked. That's what I felt like. I felt like I was, I was naked, walking around this town, just waiting for somebody to find me out. Oh, I wouldn't do it again for all the tea in China. You couldn't pay me enough to be Lily Snyder. It's a thankless job. Other than those two beautiful kids and that huge bank account, what does Lily have? She has me. Oh, sugar. I love you to pieces, but... I mean, do you think that I would have... I stuck around because I got the gadget, I got the... I'm sweating just to make a fool out of you? I'm sure that that bank full of money had something to do with it. It had absolutely nothing to do with it. That's not why I stuck around. And if I had the sense that God gave a goose, I would have been on the next plane back to Atlantic City. Then why weren't you? Oh, honey, so are you blind? Do I have to spell everything out for you? I fell for you like a ton of bricks. I fell in love with you. Ain't that a kick in the head. I don't work for you anymore, so make it quick. I couldn't let you leave without just telling you one more thing. Oh, come on. You are so far out of line, it's not even funny. Excuse me? You cannot just walk out on a job without giving at least two weeks' notice. You can't make unwanted advances on women, and you cannot expect your employer to acknowledge, let alone respond to, some silly schoolboy crush. Silly schoolboy crush? How old do you think that I am? I was hoping old enough to know better. You know, if you have to think of me as some kid to make you feel better, then maybe you have some growing up to do. And as far as that unwanted advance, it was so unwanted that it lasted long enough for you to forget where you were and drop your phone. Well, that's because you caught, you caught me off guard. All right, it was, it was willful and, and improper, not to mention unprofessional. Because there's a time and a place yes, for Yes, precisely. What would you say if I did something like this? Just stop. I don't think you've been cut off guard a day in your life, Em. What do you want from me? I want to be your friend. I am I, your I, friend. I, wanna, I want you to trust I me. I trust you, okay? I, I trust you more than most people in my life. Oh, and that's supposed to make me feel happy because you trust most people like, what, zero? You, know, you just expect too much out of me. God, the employee-employee relationship is a delicate balancing act. Oh, yeah. How could I forget? Well... I'll make it easy, then I don't want to upset the balance. Boy, you're going to quit again. How many times are you going to quit? You're going to pack your... Pack what, what does it look like? You know what? I, I, I totally understand. You know, you, you want a, a different life. You're, you're sick of people expecting less of you. Just get the phone. Fine. Hello. Yeah, Corinne, hi. Yeah, I, I heard closing... How? When, when did this happen? Was it, was anybody hurt? Oh, does anybody know where he's headed? No, okay, all right. Uh, call me if you hear anything. What is it? What happened? That was this, that was a district attorney. Apparently, um, Stenbeck escaped when he was being transported back to prison. He's out there somewhere. Are you going to give me that or not? My, you are eager to get your hands on this one. I don't even know what it is. Do you remember I sent you a note with your flowers? I know something you don't want anyone else to know. I know all of your secrets, Julia. I know all your dirty little secrets you're trying to keep from me. What do you want from me? Okay, first of all, I want you to stop pretending everything is hunky-dory and newlywed land. I mean, look at you. Here you are, still in the fun-filled honeymoon phase of your relationship that every couple dreams about. And where's Jackie, boy? He's avoiding you like the plague. He had to work. He wanted to go to work. Anything to get away from the whining. Oh, Jack, why don't you want to start a family? You shut up! He's terrified, sweetheart. <laughs> terrified at the thought of reproducing with a woman like you because then you're harder to dump and it's harder to go back to the woman he really wants to be with. It becomes all that much more complicated. I could hear it in the poor guy's voice. Still so hung up on Carly, but so afraid of hurting you. So what do you think he would say? What do you think he'd do if he saw this? Hmm? 
Now, does that look familiar to you? See, that's you right there, with that unmistakable smile. And who's your companion? What's his name again? Oh, that's right, Lowe, Winston Lowe. Carly's husband, the husband that no one knew anything about. Well, no one but you. Things never change. Just like the one. Like the songs that make the holidays so special. Oh, there's no place like home for the holiday. The Time Life Treasury of Christmas, a tradition in millions of homes across America. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Only Treasury of Christmas brings you all these timeless classics. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. Had a very shiny nose Chestnuts roasting on an open fire The Time Life Treasury of Christmas America's best-loved Christmas collection On two CDs or two cassettes Rocking around the Christmas tree At the Christmas party You'll get 50 holiday favorites Jingle bell, jingle bell More than two full hours of holiday fun Here comes Santa Claus here comes Santa Claus, running down Santa Claus Lane. Silent night, cold. Each song brings the wonder of Christmas into your home. Hark the hell angels sing. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart... So call now. Enjoy the treasury of Christmas for years to come. To order Treasury of Christmas, call 1-800-663-4224. That's 1-800-663-4224. Or send $19.99 for two cassettes plus $3.99 shipping and handling. Or $26.99 for two CDs plus $4.99 shipping and handling to Treasury of Christmas, Department 5, Richmond, Virginia, 23280. Would you rather live in a home that's cleaned and disinfected with Clorox Cleanup or with a leading spray cleaner that disinfects? Bless you! Bless you! Clorox Cleanup destroys 99% of allergens. This other spray cleaner doesn't. So get Clorox Cleanup. When you live with two teenagers, whoa, life is a zoo. And it's always feeding time. I'm sure glad I found these. Chef Wardy overstuffed Italian sausage ravioli and spaghetti and jumbo meatballs for bigger kids with bigger appetites from Chef Boyardee. Four house guests, three prizes, two days till banishment. One of these people will have to go. An all new Big Brother, CBS Tonight. CBS presents Bette Midler in the role she was born to play, herself. You got to have friends. The divine Miss Don't M comes to television so in her strong. very first series. Oh, you got to have friends. Bette Midler stars in Bette. Premier CBS Wednesday, October 11th. Is marriage a dying institution? Most people who do get married do so for the wrong reasons. Dr. Laura has a lot to say about commitment and compatibility. Know what you're getting into. Next, Dr. Laura. Today at 3 on CBS 2. You keep hearing about new miracle diet pills. But keep in mind, they're most effective when they're used with a complete medically-based weight control program. That's the Lindora difference. At Lindora, our medical staff has answers, and they'll help you with a complete plan for comfortable, safe weight control. And now, for a limited time, Lindora is offering two weeks free. Call Southern California's number one medical weight control program, and for a limited time, get two weeks free. 1-800-LINDORA. Call now. Planning to sell your home or condo this year, you're probably wondering how much it's worth. You can find out free on the web at housevalues.com. So if you're planning to sell, visit housevalues.com today. That's housevalues.com. Facts of life by Lysol. Fact. Bread always falls jelly side down. Fact. Lysol is the best because it kills 99.9% .9 of germs in seconds and is the number one brand recommended by pediatricians. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. They survived the island. Can they survive Hollywood Square? Tonight at 5. 
Bregman, Time Daily, Judging Amy, season premiere, CBS Tuesday, October 10th. Stenbeck escaped. Corinne said he got away from the marshals right after his court date. This is incredible. Was he alone? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I would think so. I mean, Corinne didn't, Corinne didn't say that anybody was... I don't know, okay? I don't know. He, he escaped. He, he escaped when he was being transported from the courthouse back to prison. He headbutted one of the guards and knocked him out and went after the other one and got away. Was there any leads? No, there's nothing. They're putting out cops everywhere, scouring this entire town. Talk about Major Scope. That was the first one for Corinne to call. But you? Yes, me. I'm at the top of his target list. I'm the whole reason this whole thing started up again. I mean, he's been trying to get back at me ever since I published that article about how he doesn't deserve a new trial. But Corinne, the assistant DA, phoned you to have you watch your back. Yeah. So you know what this means. I'm gonna call your mom, tell her to get Allison and take her someplace safe. You better start packing up. We gotta get out of here. I'm not going anywhere. Emily, there is a convicted murderer after you, and if he's not, who knows who he has on the street there that could come no to his dirty work? There is no way I am hiding now, not when I got the inside scoop on a killer story. Yeah, killer is right. I can tell this twisted tale of David Stempick in a way nobody else can. Not even Molly Conlon. No. This is my baby. I'm not going anywhere till I put it to bed. It really is a fascinating photograph, isn't it? Julia Lindsay, tete a -tete with Winston Lowe, Carly Tenney's secret husband that no one even knew existed. And when was this taken? About a year ago, right? Give me that. Right during Jack and Carly's courtship, right before their engagement. I did my homework. Where did you get that picture? You know, you meet some interesting people behind bars. My lucky day came when I met a guy named Phillips. Turns out he took a fall for Mr. Lowe, got the short end of the stick. We got to talking, and uh, we had a few people, a few places in common. You know, I used to think that that six degrees of separation theory that everyone's connected was a bunch of garbage. But it's not. It's true. Everyone is connected. I found that out when your name came up in conversation. My name? How? I never met anybody named Phillips. Oh, but he knows you, and that's all that matters. He also knew that you were the one who first told Winston Lowe that Carly was living happily in Oakdale and madly in love with a close personal friend of yours. No, I never said anything. I, I never told anybody about no. that. I, hey, I'm sure <laughs> you didn't know what a bad thing you were doing. Or did you, Julia? Are you that unhappy that you have to go around destroying the love and joy in other people's lives? I never meant to put Carly in any danger. We both know there's no such thing as an accident, Julia. Right? You were at a fundraiser chatting. You probably had a couple glasses of champagne, feeling pretty and clever and alone, and then a handsome stranger appears. You tell him all about your broken heart, about the blonde barracuda that sank her teeth into your man. You mention her name. He pours you another glass of Dom, asks you a few questions, and then you tell him everything. Well, that is not what happened. Huh? Well, why don't you tell David all about it? Hmm? Maybe we should run it by Jack and see what he thinks. Hey, he's a cop. He can do the detective work, ask all the right questions to the right people. You're making this all up. You are lying. Oh, hey, 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 I'm lying. You call my bluff, Julia? Or are you thinking that maybe you want to keep your husband and Carly from knowing about this dirty little secret? That's what I thought. Well, I'll tell you what. I won't say a word about this to anyone so long as you find me something to get these things off. Move it. Come on. And then we'll take our little trip. I'm going to need some food for the road. After being inseparable on that island, and now a daily annoyance to you here in Oakdale, do you really think I'm going to let go of you now? I just need time to clear my head and my heart. Well, it should be easier now with Holden. It's not about Holden. Now. It's not. Uh, it's everybody else in this town. Everybody looks at me. I can see it in their eyes. They're wondering, is that Lily or is it the other one? But, that woman completely destroyed my life. I know, but she's easily disposed of, isn't she? Just put her on a bus and ship her out of town. Not... She's staying at my mother's now. What, she's living there? Lucinda told me today that Rose and I are twins. Twins? Oh, yeah, right. It's when did Rose come up with this one? It's... She's my twin. My twin. Hey, 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 hey. Lily. Uh, I don't know anyone who resembles you less 
than Rose. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Why can't everybody else see that? Why can't Tessa send her? She just wants me to forgive and forget and All right, just move okay. on. okay. What do you want? I have, to, I have to take my kids away. I have to take them to a safe place where nothing can be stolen from me again. You, you understand that. You're the only person on earth who does. You love me. <laughs> you know what? If I wasn't so furious with you, I, I would, I would actually pity you. You have no idea what love even is. I do. Love isn't lying to somebody so you can get your way. You should have told me what was going on in Atlantic City the moment I laid eyes on you. Hey, hey, how could I tell you something that I didn't know? I didn't know where Lily and Simon were. I knew nothing. Yeah, but you knew who you were and were not. Technically. I was just as clueless as everybody else. Oh, right, now that uh, you and Lily are twins. Of course, who knew? Who knew? This whole family is like, it's like this huge lack of communication. If Lily or Simon had just called and said something, and don't get any ideas that this was some big conspiracy against you, because it wasn't. It just... stuff happens. If somebody came and told me that Lily was being held against her will, I would have said something to you, I promise. But I knew what I knew, what Celia told me. That Lily had run off with some guy and she was on some tropical island. <laughs> you didn't even tell me that much. You kept me and everyone else totally in the dark. Who do you know? What husband do you know that wants to know that his wife has left him for somebody else? I couldn't hurt you like that, Holden. Yeah, but you hurt me by lying. So what's the difference? You want to blame me? You want to blame me for something that really is my fault? The biggest mistake of all? Getting caught? No, falling in love with you. And if you, as much as you want to deny it, you feel the same way about me. Hey, time's up, Mark. Just a minute, Ma. Get away, girl. <laughs> there was an easier way. Now there is. The new Ziploc Easy Fill Bag. The bag that stands up, stays open, and closes Ziploc tight. The new Ziploc Easy Fill Bag in three easy-to-fill sizes. Kelsey Johnson, a family company. Sparky? So, here I am, all grown up. And my mom's not cooking my breakfast anymore. But I can still taste how smooth and creamy and perfect everything was when she made my cream of wheat for me. And now it's my turn. They like it with strawberry jam or honey. You know, life's got enough lumps. I'll just keep it as smooth and creamy as I can for them. Cream of wheat, so good to hold on to. It's important to take care of yourself. It's also important to talk to your doctor. Ask your doctor about PremPro. I'm glad I did. All it takes is one random spark from a fire, landing in the wrong place at the wrong time, and your whole family's future could go up in flames. Or not. Learn more about or not at thenewsteel.com. At GEICO, we're always looking for faster ways to process your car insurance claims. One idea, airlifting claims adjusters right to the site of the accident. We're over the target. I don't see the car. It's that little black dot. They're all little black dots. Come on. Oh, your laptop. Geico Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. CBS Monday, the switch will be thrown. And the comedy broadcasting system will hit the air. First, see why Kevin James is still the king on the season premiere of The King of Queens. Well, hope. 
and the series premiere of Yes, Dear. You see that? Immediate submission. That's how Mommy got Daddy to marry her. Then Ray and the family go to Italy. This wasn't in the brochure. On a special one-hour season premiere of Everybody Loves Raymond. Don't fight here. It's the Coliseum. The comedy broadcasting system hits the air. CBS Monday. I cannot believe that you would risk your life for a story. What wouldn't I risk for this story at this point in my life, Chris? I wouldn't risk somebody's life. Come on, I, the police are on top of it. I already told you that. This isn't just any article, all right? This is a, the story of my life. This is the... It's tailor-made for me, all right? David Stenbeck is a part of my life. He's part of what makes me what I am today. Proof the man is to be feared. Look, I made a mistake in taking his money to buy this paper. But the intruder is mine. There's no way I'm backing down now. Excuse me. Okay, well then, just take your laptop and your cell phone and go to the police station where it's safe. I'm safe here. Besides, what do you care? You're no longer an employee. You're no longer a friend. Oh, come on, Emily. I am still your friend. And whether or not I'm employed or not doesn't necessarily mean I want you dead. Thanks. <laughs> but I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. This is my one chance to, to wash my hair of everything Stenbeck. Come on, I'll be like Rapunzel. I'll pull up the drawbridge and chop off all my hair. Great. All right, you know what? If you want to help, if you want to help, you can do one thing for me. You can just go to my mom's, all right? Go to my mom's and just make sure everything's okay, please. I guess if there's no one else. Thanks. Yeah, see you later. Better alive. All right, you're almost there. Be careful. Oh, am I supposed to think you're going to hurt me now? I could kill you right now. You really think you're crazy enough to try that? It's a good girl. I didn't think you had that in you. You're bleeding. I didn't know you cared. I don't. I just cleaned the floor. <laughs> Why don't you remind me how handy you can be and get me a cloth? What happened? Life. I'll survive. Now take some of that water, put it on the cloth, You gave up your work at the hospital. Really lost your bedside manner. Has Jack picked up on that? Does he even care? Look, I do what you want me to do. Your hands are free. Why don't you just go? As soon as you drive me where I want to go. I can't! Sure you can. You have to, so you will. But what about Jack? What about him? Okay, he's gonna come home, and it'll probably be soon, and when he finds that I'm not here, he's gonna... Then he'll be lucky! Because he'll live, and so will you. He'll call. What then? We have a long trip ahead of us. We can work out the details. So unless you want to go to a funeral sometime soon, you better go right where I tell you to go. First, the kitchen. Don't try to be brave. Hey, hey, listen to me. I will do anything I have to to get out of this situation alive. Do you understand me? Okay. Let's go. Don't you think I, I wish I could just say that this was my choice? And I could just move on with my life? If that life doesn't exist anymore, does it? But the people in it do. Luke and Faith and... and... Holden. I'm sorry. Luke, you just spent half your life with somebody. You cannot I just know. stop and move Lily, I know, I know. to get away for a little while. Please, please tell me that you'll wait. Of course I'll wait. I'll wait. On one condition that when you return from the cottage, you'll have reached a decision. Your final decision. You really are out of your mind, aren't you? I was never in love with anyone except my wife. But she was me. Me, until a few weeks ago. You, you know, Rose, I really hate to break it What about it to the you, roses but... you sent me, huh? 
What about the old things you said to me, like you loved the new sparkle in my eyes? That you felt full of life when you were with... What about that love letter that you wrote me? It's a mistake. You told me how much I meant to you. How much you loved me, how much you cared about the new me, the new and improved Lily Snyder. That was... that was me. I meant those words for my wife. I saw you. Your eyes. I saw the look in your eyes. I saw the way you looked at me when you didn't know that I was watching you. The way your body... your body was on fire when we were in each other's arms and the way you touched me when we were making love. Stop. Just stop. I know what you were feeling, Alton. Okay? Because I was feeling it, too. And what we shared was magic. That's the only word for it. You can deny it all you want, but you can't fake it. You just... you can't fake it. You don't have any idea what you're talking about. All right, maybe I pretended to be somebody else for a while. But I never, ever pretended how I felt about you, how I feel when I'm with you. Past tense, please. Those words that you whispered in my ear. All those things that you said to me. That was real. That was real when... When we held each other. And you couldn't bear to let me go. You didn't want to leave me in the morning. You would call me from work because you missed me so much. It's it's me that you think about. In the middle of the night. You know, what, 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 what's any of it matter? Why even bring it up? Why go back there? It's pointless. Is that what you tell yourself? In the middle of the night? When it's my arms that you ache for around you? I got to you. I know I got to you because that's why you're so hot under the uh, collar. You know what? You've had your say. Okay? So please, just, just go. Just, just leave me alone. All right. Are you gonna call the assistant DA's office and drop the charges? Like, everybody wants this to happen. What, what if I go to trial? For what? What am I... For falling in love with you? For taking care of two beautiful kids who were, who were abandoned by their mother? It's not up to me. Well, who else is there, Holden? All I see is you. Only you. So what's it gonna be? Do I spend the best years of my life in jail, or... Or are you gonna set me free? means it's Stouffer's lasagna night. It's our turn to cook dinner. Hey, I got the Stouffer's. Oh, great. How about this movie? Oh, I love it. It gives us all a chance to eat together. A delicious plate of Stouffer's lasagna is always a family favorite. It's funny how we all have the same taste in foods. Can't say the same for movies. Oh, oh guys, no. not this again. <laughs> Stouffer's, nothing comes closer to home. I'm proud to be telling people over 50 about Conseco Direct Life Insurance. And I love all the letters from people saying how much it has helped them, like this one. Dear Alex, thank you for introducing me to such a wonderful company. With Conseco Direct Life, the price will never go up. I can keep my monthly expenses down and still get the coverage I want. For as little as $6.95 a month, Conseco Direct Life makes life insurance affordable. They've helped more than a million mature Americans get the whole life insurance they need without a medical exam. People really appreciate that their acceptance is guaranteed. Listen to this letter. Dear Alex, when my husband passed away, it was a very hard time for me. What a relief it was to know we had this coverage. I know it can be difficult to get life insurance if you're not in perfect health, but Conseco Direct Life really came through for me. You simply cannot be turned down with Conseco Direct Life. I used to worry about burdening my loved ones, but with benefits that'll never decrease, I know my family won't have to worry about my final expenses. Thank you. Final costs are rising at such a rapid rate, why a funeral alone can cost over $5,000. But you can get the coverage you need. Call this toll-free number now. You'll get free information in easy-to-understand terms. Remember, your acceptance is guaranteed. Premiums never increase. Benefits never decrease because of age. Coverage builds cash value you can borrow against, and it cannot be canceled. 
Completing your application is easy, so find out for yourself why thousands of people have written to thank Conseco Direct Life. Call toll-free 1-800-996-9300 to receive free information in the mail. Dial 1-800-996-9300. The call is free, and so is this handy guide to Social Security. Call now. There's no risk or obligation. That's 1-800-996-9300. Her murder went unsolved. So did four murders in this family. 48 Hours uncovers new witnesses to track down a serial killer. Wednesday. On the season premiere of Jag, Harmon covers a secret that could reignite the Cold War. Listen to me. The season premiere of Jag, CBS next Tuesday at 8, 7 Central. Where are you going? Inside. Yeah, are you going to call the assistant DA and drop the charges against me? I'm going to go call Lucinda and find out what's really going on. You want to check out my story? I, I, I understand. It's not going to change the facts or the truth. And what truth might that be, Rose? Well, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's not going to take that sad look off your face. It's not going to bring Lily back. It's not going to make everything better. We you just let me help you? You want to help me? really want to help me? Yeah. I'll do anything for you. And stay as far away from me as you possibly can. me to make a decision about my entire life in a few days it's not a very long time some people would say that you already know the answer but all you need now is the courage to follow your heart it's not that easy i know i know but it's not it's not easy being apart from you either and i won't sneak around behind people's backs and i don't want to confuse your kids how do you know what you want how do you know that it's me that you want? Because I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life loving you and making you happy. So when you come back, you're either coming back to be with me or you're coming back to just say goodbye. How can we say goodbye? It's the only... It's the only way. I promise. I promise. Hello? Hello, is anybody there? out there. Is anybody there? Oh. Emma. Oh, oh, God. Oh, you scared me half to death. I'm sorry. I just wanted to come by and make sure you're still alive. Did you go by my mom's? Is everything okay? Yeah, there's squad cars parked out everywhere. Uh, her cars are gone and no one's saying a word. I'm sure they're, in, they're safe. Thank God. Thanks. Yeah, I just wanted you to know there'll be plenty of family at your funeral. You know, people to identify the body and everything. Good luck with that story. Uh, Good night. Wait, wait, wait. You, you just got here. Yeah, and i just leaving. I quit, remember? All right, um, stay. Was that another order? I would ap appreciate it if you'd stay. Because? You are just... Because I, I would feel safer with you here. But I, I'm, I'm just a kid. Would I you mean, what? Please, I am trying to. I'm sorry. I said some of the things. Would you please take your job back and keep me company? We're gonna have to work on that groveling part, but it'll do for now. <laughs> This is 
is all the food that we have in the house. Now, please, just take it and leave. I'm not going anywhere without you, beautiful. If you just take the car, you can take... If I just you take the car, I'll get stopped at the first roadblock. I need you. Just like the old days when we needed each other. And who can I trust more than the wife of one of Oakdale's finest? I am not going anywhere with you. When are you going to understand that the sooner we leave, the better for Jack and the better for you? Now, I could tell Jack that his wife is the reason he's married with a broken heart. No. I can kill Jack. I can kill both of you. Or you can take me where I want to go. You decide. It's hmm? a good choice. Good choice. I'm so glad we still understand each other. Now, why don't you take a good look no. around here at your little love nest? Because if we don't get away with this, this is the last time you'll ever see this place. Buy one, get one half off. On anything? Yeah, buy a pair of mules, get loafers half price. Buy boots for your husband, get a pair for yourself half price. It's the buy one, buy get one half off sale. Half good half on half everything off. in the store. I've never seen this side of you before. Doesn't it feel good? Pay less. Pillsbury Toasters scrambles. Real mm -hmm. eggs, bacon, and cheese sauce, and pastry. Fast food! Ah! They're the fuel a kid needs. <laughs> Introducing Glade Melon Burst. Introducing Glade Honeysuckle and Pear. Glade Candle Scents in two new luscious fragrances. Created by nature. Captured by Glade. S.C. E. Johnson, a family company. Look what's for dinner. Manwich! <laughs> You guys had a long practice today, huh? Yeah. Your drawing is fantastic. Well, she gets yeah. that from me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mom, can I have another manwich? Of course. Make it manwich and make it fun. When Annie came home from school with headlights, we were horrified. Then I found new Rid Moose. Only Rid Moose has a no-drip foam that kills lice completely and leaves no chemical residue. Lights are gone. Everyone's <laughs> happy. New Rid Moose. Nothing is more effective. Chris was like my shadow. She was always there. For three years, she'd drive down from her job at Kraft to tutor me. My grades went way up. For 40 years, the Philip Morris companies, including Kraft, have given to programs like Chicago's Off the Street Club, and our employees have volunteered their time to help make a difference in people's lives. When she left to have a baby, I told her I hoped she'd have a daughter. She already did a great job helping to raise a son. Working to make a difference, the people of Philip Morris. Experience the power of our real tarot reading. A tall gentleman, is this your boyfriend? Yeah. Who's the little girl? I have a daughter. You've always wanted to get married around Christmas or your birthday, haven't you? Don't even say that yet. Yeah. You know how we know that. Look here. We see the four of wands uh -huh. with the two of cups. You good. You are good. The secret that you were holding back. You already hit it. It All was right. about the baby. Call me for your free reading now. Call 1-800-977-7318. CBS Sunday. She didn't believe in angels until she fell in love with one. I wait all day just hoping for one more minute with you and I don't even know you. He can give up his existence as he knows it and become human. Meg Ryan, Oscar winner Nicolas Cage in the network television premiere City of Angels, CBS Sunday. She called me. He told me not to talk to her. When both girlfriends meet. I wanted nothing to do with him. She wanted nothing to do with him. I'm still with her, Your Honor. Whatever. Judge Judy. Today at 4 on CBS 2. What's the best cruise you've ever taken? Maybe you haven't taken it yet. Renaissance Cruises invites you to go beyond, to Tahiti, islands beyond the ordinary. Come away with us on the brand new Renaissance cruise ships, as rich in splendor as Tahiti itself. You'll experience five romantic islands, seven or ten glorious days with irresistible two-for-one prices, starting as low as $9.99 per person, with low international air available. 
wine and dine on sumptuous cuisine. Indulge your senses in the world-famous Steiner Spa. But hurry, availability is limited. Call now or see your travel agent. The first 200 callers will receive a free cabin upgrade on year 2000 sailings. Tahiti on Renaissance Cruises. The best cruise you'll ever take. Jennifer Aniston's You Do and America's Sexiest Bachelor. Craig T. Nelson stars in The District. See you Saturday, October 7th. Okay, what, uh... Come in. I've lost more than one guest at that turn. What you want to do is, is go back up the hill and take the left fork at that turn. Okay. I look forward to seeing you. Bye. The guy's lost. Yeah, obviously. On his uh, first uh, drive over. Mm -hmm. So, do I have some early morning competition? Not unless you're an economist. I'm going to do a show on Campaign 2000, you know, get the politician's outlook on the economy. And that was my first meet and greet for my potential panelist. Oh. Huh. Great. Uh, so, uh, who's the, uh, the lost guy? Mm. Dr. Howard from the university. Really? Mm. What a coincidence. Uh, my pal Woody just brought his name up the other day, didn't he? Oh, yeah. That's right. Of course he did. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so uh, have you uh, been in touch with him? Woody. No, I contacted Dr. Howard all by my lonesome. Reva, look, uh, you don't have to prove to me how independent you are. That's, that's one of the reasons I respect you most. It also scares me. The nation's newest.